Trust me, I know how nerve-wracking and draining it can be searching for the perfect icon that suits your specific design needs. And when we then finally find a good-looking icon that would be suited for our project, that thing costs $50. Okay, maybe $50 is a little over-exaggerated, but you get the point, right? So I thought, screw all this, I will find a way to create my own icons. Of course, I didn't want to spend hours of my time designing these little icons, so I found another way. And guess what? Doing it that way, it only requires a few minutes and two simple steps. Let me show you how it's done. Here we got a dummy project, the Supercar Beach Bar website. Cool name, right? And down here we can see that there are three containers side by side. One for sports cars, delicious drinks and beach paradise. For each of them, I want to create a specific icon that immediately tells the user what he's looking at. So we need a sports car, a delicious cocktail drink and a beach. Hey, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. There's a lot more cool stuff on the way. Now, back to the video. To create the icons itself, we will head over to Midjourney. But you can choose whatever image generator you like. I just know that Midjourney delivers amazing results for this. So we prompt for black flat icon of supercar on white background, comma, 2D, comma, minimalistic, comma, black silhouette. And then, dash dash Nijai 5. By adding this dash dash Nijai 5, we make use of Midjourney's dedicated art generation model. I got some great results and then decided to go with this one. But as you can see, there is still a white background that we're now trying to get rid of. By transforming our image to an SVG vector. That way we can also recolor it later if you want to do that. To convert the image into a vector file, head over to image vector. The link will also be in the video description. Here click choose an image to convert and then choose one of your generated icons. If you want you can play around with the settings down here, but in my opinion the default ones work best. When you're done, click download. As you can see the background is gone. And I also adjusted the color to orange to suit the whole theme that's going on on the page. Now, if you don't want to use Midjourney for the generation process, I strongly recommend you watch this video. It's about an image generator that is completely free to use and based on Stable Diffusion XL called Focus. I hope this helps you the next time when you need a really specific icon for your project. I will see you in the next one.